<laughs> All right. Okay, well, uh, we're just going to go to John Rilly. Good afternoon, John. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great in yourself. Oh, not bad, not bad. Uh, we've got Daniel Lee and Sean. We're just going to pump you with some uh, NBL. Oh, tell Ed to bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> he already has today. So, Daniel, first question to you to John. JR, have you retired yet? Have I retired yet? Oh, no, look, I'm I'm playing some good basketball in the local comp up here in Townsville, so uh, the wheels are still turning over. Is there a chance you'll get picked up for this season? Oh, look, to be honest with you, I've actually had a couple of teams contact, contact me to see uh, where I sit with it all, so, uh, you know, I, ha I have three kids and a wife, so uh, we mull over these things and we go from there. And will you tell us who those teams are? Hello? And, and, and tell sorry. it there. Sorry. <laughs> Go again. <laughs> sorry, John. Can you tell us who those teams are that are looking at you? Oh, no. That wouldn't be fair on them or myself. So, uh, you know, it's early stages. Maybe if you could point us in the north direction. Are they a Queensland team? No, nah, no. I'll, I can say no to that. Okay. Um, just coming back to the local competition for a second, John. Um, we were talking about the Melbourne Tigers recruiting efforts uh, a couple of weeks ago. Could the Melbourne Tigers get any taller? Oh, not unless Neil Turner made a re return to the NBL. <laughs> <laughs> or Andy Campbell. That's turning the clock back. Uh, do you think that they've they've uh, sculpted their team, if you like, because of the new ruling that uh, the key will be narrower and therefore be far easier to play back to the basket basketball? Uh, the, look, I'm not trying to correct you, but the key will actually be fatter. So you'll be further away from the basket. And I guess right now around the NBL landscape, you've got two trains of thought. Do we get taller and bigger with the new rules coming in or do we go shorter and faster? You've got, you know, you've got your uh, Melbourne Tigers, you've got Townsville Crocodiles that have, you know, gone out after some big timber in Luke Chenchner. They've got Russell Hinder and then Ben Allen, the young kid from the United States who's returning to his homeland to play. So I, I think early on in the season, it's going to be interesting to see how teams evolve with the, you know, the extended three-point line, the bigger keyway. Um, you, you know, I, I'd actually want some knockdown shooters on my squad with the extended three-point line to give those big guys some range. So do those squads have knockdown shooters? That's where I'd probably question whether that philosophy of having all that length is going to be beneficial. And JR, your good mate Corey Williams. He yes. looks like he's not going to be returning to the NBL. Yes. Uh, you know, every, everyone thought he was the poster child for the Townsville Crocodiles and that situation happened. And, you know, Corey will be probably playing his trade somewhere else in the world besides the NBL. Who would have thought? But uh, times are changing, I guess. That is a big blow to the NBL, though, the reigning MVP not coming back. Yeah, probably one of the few guys in our league right now that... Uh, you could probably flash a picture somewhere and most people have an idea of who he is. So we have lost an identity of the league, there's no doubt about that. And just at a time when the NBL needs all those things to come together for themselves. Yeah, and but with 1HD coming on board, it'll, I'll be interested to see how they go about marketing the league and whether, whether they're trying to develop some of the new kids on the block you know, but, you know, when, when you don't have, a, you know, the public perception of not really knowing anyone from your league, when you lose one of those guys that they do have a feeling for, whether good or bad, uh, who's ready to step into the breach, I guess you'd have to ask. OK. Um, thanks for spending some time with us today, John. Really appreciate it. And uh, no doubt, as it gets closer to the basketball season, we'll be uh, talking with you a lot more. Oh, awesome. Sounds good, boys. And uh, good luck with the uh, search for a uh, home in the NBL. Yeah, make oh, sure you we'll get back in the league. <laughs> we'll see what happens, huh? Well, well no, we need high-profile people on Sports Fan Radio, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so my profile's dictated by my job, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not necessarily. It all depends uh, how much you tweet as well, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, I'll get on to that because it's bloody hard to beat Ed on that, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John, thanks very much. See you, boys. Good afternoon. Bye. Oh.